everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Justina. I am travel blogger and travel specialist based in London. And today I'm doing something quite unusual. Today it's all about food, actually about pastries. I have Gabby here with me. She is London-based pastry chef as well. And uh, Gabby, what are we going to do today? <laughs> So yeah, hey guys, I'm Gabby from Gabby Bakes. So today we are doing a collab with Justina. So we're going around all these amazing um, Genosuri places around London. So think like really, really nice pan chocolate and uh, croissants and things like that. So yeah, it's going to be great, delicious. I can't wait to share that with you. And you're going to review the, the ones, yeah? Uh, yeah. <laughs> On to the first one. What's the first one? So we are going to Fortitude Bakehouse, which is famous for its amazing buns and really delicious things. That's very cool. And it's actually we are in Bloomsbury area now. So the closest stops would be Holborn uh, on Central Line or Russell Square on which line I'm not sure, but Russell Square. But it's a very nice walk from Holborn. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. But what I wanted to say is Bloomsbury area is pretty much known for two things: British Museum, British Library and uh, the very nice squares, they are sort of inner gardens that they are very, very re representative of this part of London. And you can grab delicious desserts on the way too, which is... Yeah, bonus. so what you're doing first, you're going to these bakeries that we are going, <laughs> and after that you can go to British Library, British Museum, you can visit, there's many, it's a university area, and there's many squares and gardens here, and also King's Cross is not that far. King's Cross is amazing also for different eateries, and Regent's Canal is there, so you can go by the Regent's Canal to Camden Town from there. Gabby, what do you think? <laughs> so, as you can see from my facial expressions, it's amazing. Honestly, one of the most amazing brownies I have tried. It's from so fudgy inside, did you say? So That's fudgy, yeah? fudgy, oh my god. And what do you think about the donuts? We've got bun. a morning bun. bun. So, it's basically a um, rhubarb and custard brioche. Yep. Which is um, super fresh, really, really kind of crusty from the outside and really soft from the middle. So, these pastries are from Fortitude Bakehouse. They focus mainly on sourdough breads and sort of a sourdough things like these brioche buns are made on from sourdough, I believe. I think so. And yeah, it's really tasty and um, really good ingredients and yeah, amazing. Now we are on to our second one to to our own bakery and just a quick recap of the first one we went to the fortitude bakehouse which is famous for its sourdough goods everything from like morning buns uh, loaf cakes and stuff like that we had the most amazing um, custard brioche and mm. uh justina's rhubarb it was brownie oh, yeah. oh my god it was so fudgy amazing so yeah these are top things to do <laughs> thumbs up they're very cool <laughs> we are on to common garden now yeah. let's go
on to the second one. Gabby's gonna tell us where we are and what this place is special about. So hey guys, again we are at the Arom Bakery. So it is one of the coolest spots right now in the city, yeah. selling some amazing pastries that yeah. are like a fusion of France and Asia. So one of the top, top, top pastries is honey butter toast, which we wow. can't wait to try. Mm. We've been drooling over the photos of it for like, I don't know, a whole week now. <laughs> Sounds very intriguing. I actually never, never tried it and very interesting. Yeah. We shall go in, we show you around. We'll try it and let you know. I'll let you know, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I got a tissue. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. This tastes like Helen. I thought she was overreacting. Actually, it's like toffee. Toffee? No, toffee. I'm not overreacting. I'm, I'm <laughs> No, I'm joking, guys. It's really good. Mm. It's um, so second spot now. It's my favorite out of four things I tried. Fave, your fave? So nice. Okay. Oh my god, I haven't had such a nice thing in a really long time. Yeah. I, I will stop making toast at home because this is because my toast that I make at home they Yeah. It will take at least two days to make but <laughs> but it's worth it I think. <laughs> Gabby said it, it it tastes like ramen in a pastry. Ramen. Oh wow. my god, so you know that bowl of ramen of like delicious noodles that we so we brought? So that literally it tastes like that ramen. I literally feel like I'm eating ramen, but in a form of pastry. <laughs> yeah, so because good. it's got um, spring onions, right? It's and got spring uh, onions and bacon. I think it got some miso as well. Yeah, really tasty. Wow. Worth the hype. Definitely. Worth the hype. Yes. Yeah. Yum. <laughs> Yum. After we have tried a Rome. The things you can do around, obviously, it's Covent Garden Market and Covent Garden area in general. There is Crafts Market daily. It's an Apple Market, so it's inside Covent Garden. It's called Apple Market. They have, they have the most interesting stuff, very unique and quirky, arts and designs. And in front of me, Gabby is going, Cakes. look, 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 Cakes. I'm gonna show you now. Flip the camera and show you that. If I can do that, come on, let's try. Whoa. What is that, Gabby? Um, different kind of cakes, all the same shape. I don't know why. <laughs> Probably they only had one mold, which is fine. But uh, yeah. Is it cheesecake, that one? Looks like a cheesecake, yeah. and then like a roche cake, and lemon cake, and I guess that's like a fudge cake. Roche cake, that sounds like, something. like, you know, like the very roche, but in a yeah. cake. And just next to it, there is a buns right yeah so i guess it's like a fusion restaurant asian inspired cakes as well and crutches and yeah yeah really this sure. is <laughs> you'll find this one in front of the markets so i'm going to show you this stand here and that's the crafts market here so literally in front it's called buns and buns buns and buns there you go well, now we're gonna go on to neil's yard um, Covent Garden is obviously Covent Garden Market, and Covent Garden is not, it's not a small area, so we won't be able to show you every shop, but it's just a general idea. Now on to Neil's yard. It's a very cute courtyard. Something we didn't expect to come across, did we? St. John Bakery. Is it open? Closed. Oh, Redemption. I know Redemption. It's like vegan, I think, stuff. And this one, Jacob the Angel guy, is in front. It's a very, very good. I mean, at least I think it's good. I'm not. Is I'm not. Spe good? Okay. Yeah. Approved by chef. It's good. <laughs> And 26 grains is actually very nice. I think I already uh, tried them as well. Yay! 
and that's fruit. one of the um, it used to be one of the best restaurants in London. Um, the Barbary. It's by Ellen Spire. It's basically a uh, Barbary owned Jacob Angel. They're like partner um, partner businesses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they both are, are really good. I think it's, it's been voted like one of the best restaurants in London. Barbary I've never I've never tried that one, but okay. Wow. Yeah, the food is really good. Right. So we just wanted to show you that. Now we're going to go on to the third one. We are on the way to Notting Hill. And that's Seven Dials. I actually read about it, so I'm going to quickly tell you. Seven Dials is a shopping village in London, consists of 90 shops. It was established in 1700. Basically, there's seven streets that join into this square. And it's a monument. It's a sundial monument. So, yeah. Full of shops, full of restaurants, full of bakeries. We're just crossing it now. So, And there is a theatre here, Cambridge Theatre. Matilda is on. It's been on forever. Hey guys. Hey. <laughs> We're gonna take you on a bus tour now. Burlington Arcade and the Burlington House and also Royal Academy of Arts. It's a really nice thing to do in London, slightly different and yeah. Gabby says if you ever come to London the best afternoon tea is here. It's a value for money and it's in the Ritz Hotel guys. It's one of like it's probably one of the most expensive hotels in London but one of the best afternoon teas and not as expensive as other places. So good. Can you sh show it? Show it. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. So this is raspberry and um, cheesecake bun from Buns from Home. So it is a bakery by two brothers, apparently, who started off baking from home, and they actually have a shop now. Really lovely people and really tasty buns. And um, yeah, well done, guys. Really good. And we good. <laughs> and we got um, also we. <laughs> looks deconstructed <laughs> chocolate chocolate and that's and we need okay to try it. maybe yeah maybe it doesn't look nothing presentable we're sorry about that but um, so now it. that you have tried things with us from buns from home what you can do around here we are literally off the portobello road so you can wander into portobello road and visit portobello road market we are around 25 minutes from holland park and from kensington palace and kensington gardens you could also do that we are also well not in hill you know you can visit all the famous colored houses and stuff and uh, yeah i think that's pretty much it but it's a very nice area just to walk around and try food so big thumbs up for this i've well, obviously, I'm not reviewing the food, but creamy, creamy <laughs> and delicious. Mm. So that's a typical Notting Hill scenery for you. Gabby is laughing in the background because I'm funny, blogger, vlogger. 
and I'm not gonna cut this video guys you're gonna see it as it is but look at these blossoms if you have never seen blossoms in spring which probably you have seen so many times there you go that's the spring in London the beauty right here on the weekends there is vintage markets as you can probably tell right here and uh, we're going all the way up Portobello Road next one is our last stop what would you recommend out of all that's what here I really People go nuts for the cookies. I've had that and it is delicious and that. I think honestly I couldn't pick. Right. Genuinely. Danish or depends what you're kind of in the mood for. Hmm. Gabby, you were saying that we should try cookie, right? Sorry, what is this? Banana bread? And tahini, yeah. Hey guys, so it's the end of our tour today. We've been to four bakeries all together. Got a bit late the last one, so only got last Danish left, but it should be quite tasty. And uh, yeah, it was really good. Look forward to share that with you. Yeah, it was really cool. We at Layla's Bakery in Notting Hill. We're gonna try the Danish, which you'll probably see right now at some point. <laughs> and uh, then we're gonna go and chill in the park because there's so many nice parks here, and you're probably gonna be able to see that through here as well. We hope you enjoyed, and we hope to see you in the next videos for something similar. Yeah. Um, a blood orange croissant from um, Layla's Bakery, uh, blood orange uh, Danish actually. It is really good actually. Um, yeah, really flaky and um, blood orange comes out really well with the cream. Mm -hmm. Nice and smooth. Nice. And, uh, yeah, new bakery focusing on ancient greens, which is quite cool. Really good ingredients and uh, yeah, pretty good actually. Quite happy. <laughs>